This is a vlog I'd like to do quickly about the importance of knowing who you are before you go into a relationship and how um, a bad relationship can actually damage you greatly. Uh, there are a lot of women who decide, especially women who decide that it's important to be with somebody. And a lot of people in any culture, especially Middle Eastern, I suppose, but even in Western cultures, uh, in Japanese cultures as well, I've heard that it's very important to be married and all that stuff by age 25. Now, I have experienced wanting, by all means, to be in a relationship and I've experienced paying a high price for it. If you are in a bad relationship, it is much worse than um, to be in alone and single for a while at least until you discover yourself and take time out, do things for yourself to express yourself, become bigger intellectually and emotionally. You can do so much as well as a single person if you are... Um, a spiritual person you can help with your church or whatever religion you are and um, take part in programs with um, evangelizing for instance you can serve the community and you can do volunteering you can take up a, a, an extra hobby an extra knowledge and you can read a bit more and you can go to the theater you can do so much on YouTube by listening to documentaries you can freshen up and do so many things that you can't really do um, whilst you're in a relationship. So relationships are marvellous, but they can be extremely complicated. And some of them can be destructive. And um, my motto is now that I prefer to be alone than to be in a bad relationship. Because a bad relationship has a tendency to devalue you, you as a person to underestimate you, you listen to the messages you you have thrown at you in a bad relationship and the messages are you're not really worth being loved for yourself, you're not really that pretty, you're not really that cherished and really you don't deserve more than that and this woman or this person deserves more than you. You have so many negative messages subconsciously and sometimes consciously and spat at you um, in a bad relationship. You keep thirsting for more, but you don't want to get out. You want to be with somebody, you're in love with somebody and you cling. And you prefer to have somebody to go out with on a Friday night than, you know, being lonely on a Friday when you know that you can do things like watch a good movie with friends or read a good book or go to the, the restaurant or the re the opera by yourself and you can do so much. You can, as I said, serve the community, serve a charity. It's a shame that some women really, really want to be by all means with somebody, especially women, because they want to be um, looking into the eye of somebody to reflect how much they are worth. So the message here really is, if you keep waiting for someone to tell you your value system and to give you some esteem, you're not really going to go that far if that person is the wrong person to do that. And if that person gives you a bad message about yourself, it can end up wasting your life, wasting years of your life and make you uh, very small cut off your wings and your creativity and your power as a person. And empowerment is the word. If you come out on your own and you struggle at first to find yourself alone and you might miss the other person, it might be better for you to, in the medium to long term, to find yourself a stronger and a better person for it because you have this inner journey you have to undertake anyway i hope this all makes sense i trust you look after yourself and carry on loving yourself all for the best